We're saying vote on the 23rd of August. Vote UNITA, vote for Samakuva. UNITA, Angola's main opposition party, has been battling to gain control of the country for over 50 years. Rafael Savimbi is the son of historic rebel Jonas Savimbi and a key party member. He's on the campaign trail calling for change. Whether it's President Samakuva or any leader of the UNITA, we're surrounded by huge crowds. People say they're fed up, tired of the regime. They want a change. Rafael is hoping to build on his father's legacy and inject more political diversity and transparency to Angolan democracy. The combat is the same. The fight is the same. Of course, the context has changed, but Savimbi had good intentions, and we think we should have the same attitude. The children, for instance, should show the way. My mother, however, is very hesitant. Being the wife of a man like my father wasn't easy. She knows how difficult it is to do politics in Africa. In power since independence in 1975, the MPLA heads back to the polls on Wednesday. For the first time, its leader, José Eduardo dos Santos, will not be running for office. The 74-year-old's retirement from politics introduces a rare uncertainty over what happens next. Obviously, we're having a different type of competition, new actors who are ready for new forms of governance. I think UNITA is well positioned to do well this time, and why not maybe win these elections? However, any change is still likely to be gradual. UNITA won only 18% of the vote in the last election. To stand against the MPLA, it would have to form a coalition with other opposition parties.